Welcome to Dev Kit, DevNet Use Case Automation and Manufacturing. I'm Derek Winchester, Gotcha 6 Technologies. Most of you guys should know me from init 6 uh, and also I'm a member of the CCIE Advisory Council. Current certifications, uh, CCIE Collaboration, Red Hat, DevNet Associate, and DevNet Specialist Data Center Automation and Programmability. One of my biggest catchphrases is uh, continuous improvement through continuous education. I've been in technology for over 25 years, and that's really not possible unless you uh, reinvent yourself. Our development philosophies. So in the mid six, we uh, we adopted several philosophies that that we use when we develop solutions. Uh, we walk through the walk, run, fly, and that's not foreign to any one of you guys uh, on the DevNet site. You see walk, run, fly quite a lot, and uh, it's it's useful and developing, especially when you are not a natural developer, right? So we use APIs to get useful information out of the network. Um, we use that data collected across the network to gain actual insight. And then we execute automated actions, right? Um, but we do all of this without starting from scratch. We do not develop from scratch. We, we stand on the shoulders of giants, right? All of the repositories that you see out in the web is what we use to develop solutions. We use a GitHub repository. Uh, we use DevNet code and automation exchanges. So please look for our code out there, but that's where we look to look for solutions. So that's where we look to use code to develop solutions in the industry. <laughs> Manufacturing use case. So, this idea came about, this solution came about uh, 10 years ago, roughly. Um, I used to work for a major uh, yogurt manufacturer and uh, one of my jobs being responsible for, uh, you know, the data and IT for, for this company uh, was to go and scope out um, acquisitions, right? The companies that, that we were acquiring and so forth. Um, on this particular incident, uh, there was a company that we acquired and I went to go visit. Most times I wait to after hours or on the weekends to do this. So, you know, most people don't ask questions. Um, on this particular day, it was a Saturday and I go to visit this, this plant. Um, and on Saturdays, uh, they have reduced coverage. So I would ring the doorbell. Um, it would take about 10 minutes and uh, a guy who was doing manufacturing uh, will come over and answer the door for me and let me in. So I, you know, I, I was thankful. And during the course of the day, uh, I found out he was the only person there, right? They have reduced um, manufacturing during the weekend. So uh, as throughout the day, I would feel uh, kind of, you know, a little on edge about balling this guy, right? He's trying to produce and trying to um, uh, manufacture things. I, I'm sure he has a quota. But every time I needed to go in and out the door or whenever the truck, a truck came or uh, the phone rang, he would have to shut down his manufacturing completely and then go and, and, and answer the door or, or do whatever and then come back and, the, uh, and start the machine up to do processing. So I'm thinking that that can't be efficient, right? So, um, so in leaving that, you know, I look and say, you know, I have to find a solution for this guy. You know, um, and at the time, and this is before DevNet philosophies, right? So at the time, um, I was about looking for solutions and there's nothing I could fit this in, right? I found there's a ton of remote in the manufacturing industry. There's a lot of remote um, uh, controls and things that you can put in play, but nothing that I could see that will actually be efficient and, and, and kind of streamline this process a little bit. So the first thing I wanted to do, right? I wanted to think about how I can, you know, come up with a solution that not only would handle this immediate problem, but address other problems, right? So uh, one of the problems that we talk, reduce staff during off hours in manufacturing plant. Each time there's a interruption, so there's a break, or, you know, the truck uh, coming up, a trucker coming up and knocking on the door, it, it, it's a complete power one. I, it, it, I would estimate during this time, it was roughly an hour each time he was interrupted that it was set to slow the process down, right? And conversely, when they return, all equipment must be powered on. So we know from watching, you know, this, this manufacturer, right, move away and come back, um, it's the same routine. 
there are opportunities for automation. So what we did was, and, and the way my solution works is by automating the access points to turn on and off equipment based on physical proximity. Um, my script will run in, in a while loop over and over, identifying where the resource is. Now this is done remotely on my demo by cell phone, but uh, there are many other ways to track wireless endpoints, right? So this solution will go and monitor where an individual is in, in location of the access point um, what this does is create efficient use of time, right? So it allows a person to walk away from a piece of equipment and the equipment will automatically send a API request to power down the device, right? Um, and he can return. And when he returns automatically, the, the equipment will go on off suspend. All these are driven by APIs and all these are driven to, to automatically process manufacturing equipment solutions to be able to remotely turn on and off, not needing manual interference. Additional benefits include uh, speed to market, reduce overhead and win-win scenario, client gets faster service, corporation reduces overhead and generates more margin because they're operating still at a reduced uh, a, a reduce headcount and no waste in effort on an operator, right? So this will allow someone to walk away Right and 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 not have to deal with powering down, and powering up, uh, manufacturing equipment, um, in in the market. Right. So these are all the things that are captured in this. And um, you know, in my demo, I will go ahead and I will show you how my script works and how to put together such a solution. Now, be mindful that this solution was done for manufacturing, but it's easy to see other applications with this. Uh, user. It's easy to take this solution and say for a hospital environment, which most of which uh, are wireless and also being able to track individuals, you can see that other workflows can be kicked off by proximity location uh, within the wireless network. Uh, but for this solution, manufacturing, um, it, it, it solves a, a problem that I see in many manufacturing places, especially during reduced coverage or even uh, not reduced coverage, even in terms of being able to speed up the ability to process, right? So I'm gonna take you through how my script works um, and, and walk you through this, the, the process I did in, in actually uh, developing the script. So here's my script. The script that I'm, I'm showing you right now uh, is using the Meraki SDK and also the WebEx Teams SDK, all right? As I bring this in, um, and is well documented and also in GitHub, um, adding two variables, right? Which is my authentication variables. Um, here in this area is only thing I'm physically editing and it's, it'll be the network ID. Um, for the course of this, my WebEx Teams um, ID, the room ID, and I'll show you why I need that later, right? Um, I just pinpoint the client, which I, I named Android, and from here, here's my while loop, right? My while loop is going to go through and monitor the events on, on the Meraki network and understand when it's associated and when the client is not associated to the given access point that's located where the manufacturing machine is, right? So um, as we go through my script, it'll run through and you'll see associated and unassociated, right? Now, I have things that in play here. So my WebEx room right here, as we move into location and out of location, you'll see that the operator turning to the vicinity machine, this is a power on machine startup sequence, the operator's leaving vicinity. So I'm using WebEx teams for communication and also monitoring of when the machine is shut, uh, uh, shut on and, and shut off, right? So or cut on and cut off. Here's the actual script running. So this script will run in a while loop, monitoring all the events that I just showed it. Right now, it's associated. If, because the way Meraki works, it takes 30 seconds for it to dis uh, disassociate. If I was to step away from this, it would take 30 seconds before it will uh, identify that uh, someone has uh, stepped away and it will also update in my room right here. So uh, another important aspect of my demo uh, is the Meraki dashboard, right? So the Meraki dashboard, 
uh, is what I am sending my API queries to, to, to monitor events, but it's also uh, a good visualization, visualization, visualization of seeing my client, which is the Android client, which is what I'm using uh, for my demo. 30 seconds now, I'm disassociated. And as you can see here, operators leaving a silly machine, machine sequence activated, machine okay. shutdown sequence activated. All right, that concludes my demo. To wrap this up, I just demonstrated a solution that allows an individual in manufacturing to be able to remotely or automatic, uh, uh, to automatically start and stop the manufacturing process based on proximity. Um, this script, that I provided also provides a, or, or contributes to the use case of being able to utilize the Meraki wireless environment, as well as our WebEx SDKs. So in conclusion, um, I hope you guys take a look at my script uh, and, and look for other ways to make it applicable. And also uh, reach out to me, let me know uh, what you use it for. I'd be very interested to see other applications of this script. Thank you, uh, have a good day.